Hey guys, welcome back. In this three part series, I will teach you how to take this clip and transform it into this. Subscribe to never miss more tutorials and let's get into episode 2. To begin, take an adjustment clip and section it out above your cuts on the timeline. Each cut should have its own adjustment layer. Open the first infusion. Add a transform. Set the first frame to something like this. Scroll ahead and zoom in like this. Make sure you position the view towards the gun. Now let's adjust the spline to make this look smooth. I decided that my zoom was too fast so I pushed it back a few frames. Always remember to adjust settings to your liking. Now I am satisfied with my first motion graphic. Now let's add some motion to our first gunshot. Keyframe the first frame to be zoomed in very far and the last frame to be zoomed out to your preferred size. On the spline graph, we are going to do something a bit different. Try to create something similar to mine. Pan crop should never be linear as it looks horrible. Always come back to the fusion page to make any tweaks. For the second gunshot, do the same thing. Consistency can make a nice flow in an edit, although you can always change things up depending on the pace. Now it's looking good. I am going to speed this up but I will apply a similar curve to my third shot. Here is how it looks. Now let's transform the first half of the reload. Add a transform node onto your line and keyframe the center and size. Scroll forward a good bit on your timeline and zoom in onto the gun like how I do it. Piano, piano, piano. Over here. I am trying to figure out a good time where the animation should end. Always take your time figuring out where the keyframes should be. Now select the spline graph and click the curving line to make it smooth. Looks pretty good, now let's do the second half. Just like before, add a transform node. Follow me as I keyframe this and watch closely. Here, I try to focus on the sheriff but I want to make sure the subject isn't out of frame. Once you have your keyframes, smooth them out by selecting them just like earlier. Okay let's now to our last cut. Transform node on the line, you already know the drill. For this one, I will zoom in a lot on the first frame. Just like before, I don't zoom out all the way for my last frame. Now let's use the graph to create a big curve. Looks great, here is the whole edit so far. If you made it this far, let me know by commenting down below. Also let me know in the comments if you want a shakes tutorial. 